Some things are better unspoken. Don't give them airtime. Proverbs 10 verse 19. In the multitude of words, sin is not lacking. But he who restrains his lips is wise. Proverbs 17, 27 and 28. He who has knowledge spares his words and a man of understanding is of a calm spirit. Even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace, when he shuts his lips, he is considered perceptive. You know, there are some things that are best left unspoken. The wrong that people have done, the mistakes that they may have done, the hurts that they may have dealt to you or to other people or, you know, other things like that are just left unspoken. It is better not even to mention it. It is better not even to talk about it uh, because we could hurt people. It'll just end up spreading rumors and wrong things. And the Bible says here that in the multitudes of words, sin is not lacking. We could actually be promoters. We could actually become promoters of wrong, of sin, of evil, of wickedness when we speak things that are best left unspoken. So we need to learn to be judicious about what things we speak and what things we choose to just lay aside, let it be, don't even mention don't even speak about it. It's not worth giving them time in our words uh, or expressing them through words. We need to be judicious about this. And the Bible says that a man of knowledge, a man of understanding, he spares his words. That means he is careful about what he speaks and what he keeps quiet about or what he just leaves aside. A man of knowledge, a man of understanding, does that. So you and I must be such people. That we ask God for that discernment, that understanding, and that we are, we have the self-restraint, the self-governing ability to say, I'm not going to speak about that. I don't want to talk about that because that's going to expose somebody else unnecessarily. That's going to uh, spread things that are not worth uh, being spread and so on and so forth. That we are judicious and we know when to leave things unspoken. Let's ask God for that understanding, that ability to be discerning so that we can use words in a way that are pleasing to God. Let's pray. Lord, we pray. As the psalmist prayed, let the words of our lips, our mouth, and the meditations of our hearts, let it be acceptable. Let it be pleasing before you. And we ask that you will give us the wisdom and also the self-restraint to leave things unspoken that need to be left unspoken. Give us that ability, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.